friends is, is always some, something special and I, uh, now I think I became 40 years as a coach and I, I had every level of, of friends. Um, I wouldn't say every quality because each quality has its uh, special things. So uh, at the beginning I was coach of an amateur club and um, you can hear each, well let's say, given information from the, from the stand. That was also uh, a funny time. Uh, then for example the fans at, at um, RB Leipzig, um, they, are, they were young, they were most of the time families and um, they, were, they were also enthusiastic but not in a, in a negative way. Uh, then I came to, to Stuttgart where you had a, a, a huge number of fans, I don't know, the Kanstaller Kurve is, uh, I don't know, maybe 10,000 people so just standing there. And it was very intensive, and it gave you. Uh, it was the. Yeah, it was that time when I when I felt that the, the uh, what what kind of power the the fans can can give you. Um, uh, and finally here at uh, at Brentby, and and Susan is is for sure something very special, um, because you can you can see the the emotions when you are um, close to them and. Um, I was happy enough that, that I could make it close to them a lot of times or when, whenever they uh, celebrated the team or, or of course also the stuff. So it's, it's special and there are all kind of fans, uh, um, uh, but of course uh, Brøndby from their past, uh, it's special. I was here I think only, it was maybe two or three game days, um, so I was here not a long time. And I, I was on the highway towards uh, Copenhagen, and one one guy passed me, and I just saw when he passed me, he he took the break, and um, he get back on my high again, and he looked to the right side, and I was looking to the left side, and he made like thumbs up, so I knew that he was for sure not a FC Co fan, he was a Brøndby fan, and uh, yeah, these are the moments which you which you like. I never had a, a negative thing, but um, uh, in the stadium, not here in Brøndby, but in former times, of course. I'm just fo uh, focused on the, on the on really on the game, except we have a game like, for example, in, in, in Aarhus, um, when there was uh, time to, to lean back and, and, and um, be a little bit more relaxed than in a, than in the usual game. I remember the, the first time when I was here, I saw it the first time that they made the, the Fender budget before the, before the game. Uh, and I thought of because that was far away from what, uh, what I knew before, uh, from, from times in, in Germany. So I was asking myself how I would handle the situation when one of the guys is during the warm-up uh, just leaving the, the rest of the team and, and uh, running towards the, 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 the fans to make the Fender budget. And at the end, um, I started to miss the Fenerbahce when they don't when they don't do it. So it's um, it's it's special. I think I, the the most emotional things are happen for a coach on the pitch. So for example, a goal or a final whistle or whatever. But the most individual thing is of course if you are standing in front of I don't know. 4,000 or 3,000 uh, people uh, in Horsens, maybe, I don't know, 1,500 or whatever, and, um, and uh, shouting your name, that's something very, very special. Even is Also, um, I think um, the thing in, in Horsens was, all, was also about uh, the last game day of, of Tamas Bodok, so I think m maybe it was too difficult to shout his name, so they shouted my name because they know exactly I will take Tamas uh, with me out. So, uh, yeah, but it's it's special. I never had that before, and, and of course, if 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 you know that you that you made their day uh, as well as our day, um, it's it's good. Some of them, or most of them, are thinking in another in another way. They they have their their buddies up there. Um, they also want to support the club they, they love more than 
some, maybe most of them, their wives. So um, I think it's a, it's a good a good constellation to to come together, uh, to have fun. Um, hopefully, most of the time, to to be emotional, to celebrate what what they believe in, and that's what uh, that is Brunby, that is our team. So um, I think it's a good good decision to to come to the stand and with, with all these emotions uh, and I think these kind of emotions you can only you can only get when you're when you're coming to the stadium and, and standing in the uh, hopefully in the middle of Susan. See you on Sunday.